dee 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 Hi everybody! Welcome to Vito's Italian Cucina. I'm Granny G taking over today with my little baby Stormy River Viduch, my grandson. Yes! Yes, he's with us today, and he's so cute, he's just a cutie. I'm watching little Stormy today. Ah, uh, because Vito's out shopping, you know. I call him Stormy River because he cries so much. I need to sometimes wear my rubbers. It gets so high with water. Little Vidooch! Little Stormy! Anyway, he's gonna join us today. We're gonna do Granny G's chicken pot pie. Yes, we are. What do we have today? We got a great show. So let me show you what we got happening. Well, we have a half a stick of salted butter right there, and then we move over here to three tablespoons of flour, yes. Then we have some celery. You can chop as much as you like. This is how much I think you should use. And then, of course, we have some pork. It's a little bit of an ingredient that I, it's a secret, because Granny loves pork, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Whoops, that's my outside voice. Anyway, down here we have potatoes. These potatoes have a little bit of red uh, of the peeling that's on the outside. And you don't want to use too many potatoes because potatoes is starch. Starch is what? Fat! That's right! A little bit is good. Anyway, then we're going to move on over to the carrots. You chop them up like that. The carrots is really nice. I love those. And then, of course, you can't go anywhere without having your margarita. Not on the rocks. Who wants to dilute that, right? It's not really a margarita. Go ahead. <laughs> This is chicken broth, two whole cups, that's right. And you can go ahead and measure that because you want to make the gravy that goes in there. You got, you'll got. find out, this is how we do it. Exact measurements, these are my exact measurements. And then of course we have over here, we have a little bit of the granny's secret ingredient right here. It's brown gravy, wrong, chicken gravy. You mix it in, it makes the roux. I knew a gal named Roux. Anyway, it's a whole different story. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and show you what we're doing here. But first, I wanna tell you this. The carrots you put in the microwave for about two minutes, let them cook, and then the potatoes, you preheat these things in the microwave too for maybe about two minutes, maybe three minutes. You know, and that, that way they're already kind of softened. But before you put them into the pie that we're gonna make for you, but whoop, look at that little one over there. He's so happy. Little Stormy River Viduge, I love you. I love you! I love that boy! Ah, great genes, don't you think? Anyway, let's move on and show you what's next! Okay, those carrots I told you about, I cooked them for two minutes right there, and those are done now. And I already did the potatoes, so, you know, then we can start moving on right here. Oh, oh there he goes, there he goes. This is why I call him Stormy River Viduce. He's so fussy, 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 fussy! He cries so much, he cries me a river, if you will. <laughs> I think I know what he needs. He needs his pacifier. <laughs> he doesn't have it. Oh, oh I know. I, I kept it. In. Excuse me. Let me get it for you. Oh, oh that's nice down there. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, here's your pacifier, little the dudes. This should calm you down. Good bites the hand that feeds me, you little. Still fussy, are you? Wait right there, I got the solution. Ah, this'll get it. <laughs> I watched MacGyver. That's right, pal. Talk about bite me, you little. Here we go. Anyway, I won't do that. Oh, she's so happy now. Look at him. Anyway, folks, we're going to go back to cooking. Ready? Next thing up, we're going to go to the stove and we're going to make some roux. Okay, a little fire. In they go. And we just go ahead and stir it around. Get it going. Get it going. Mmm. Ooh, okay. Our butter is ready. Now it's time for a little bit of flour. There's three tablespoons in here, and then we're gonna put some chicken broth, so stay with me. First, mix in the flour. Here we go. And here we go. Just go ahead and toss it in like that, and just do that. You gotta keep stirring. You must keep stirring, because it's gonna cook fast on you. It's gonna make this gravy for the chicken pot pie so good. Now make sure that the heat is not so high. 
You just want to get it all mixed in like so. That's good. All mixed in. Look at that. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Ooh, nice. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use that. Remember the thing I called the margarita? This is, you know, the chicken broth. Come on, let's go. Here we go. We're going to get it in here. Now we pour it in. A little bit of that. It's a little bit at a time. You go like this. Just keep stirring. Don't stop. Oop. Boy, it's going real fast there. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Here we go. I think that's pretty good like that. Hey, we're going back. Then you keep stirring. You keep stirring. <laughs> Mickey likes that. Mickey Biota. Remember him? Yeah, buddy. Anyway, keep stirring and stirring and stirring. And this is going to thicken up real good. Okay, my secret ingredient, the chicken gravy, the powder. We're going to mix that in right now. This is so good. This is so good. Just like that. There we go. We stir it in just like so. Just like so. Keep it going. Keep it going. There you go. Just like so. Get it in. It's going to start to thicken up. You got to just keep going for a while. You'll be okay with it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and some pepper. And this is really neat over here. Look at these little gadgets I got. They're electric. They're electric, you know, when you're a geriatric, it's kind of hard, but these are making life a little easier. This is my pepper, a little bit of pepper. Listen to that. Ooh, a little bit of pepper like that, and a little bit of Himalayan. This is Himal Himal Himalayan pink salt. A little bit of that right there. Listen to that. What does that sound like, girls? You ever <laughs> oh, I'm not going to go there. Anyway. Okay, boy, look at that. Mickey loves this recipe. Ooh, looks like it's starting to stiffen up. I mean, thicken up a little bit. <laughs> oh, Mickey, I love ya. Ooh, boy. Now we're going to go ahead and add the carrots in there, and here we go. Just put them in there like so. Stick them around. You don't have to use all of them, but I'm going to. Move with that. And then with the potatoes, the potatoes. Put them in, stir them around. And then we're going to go with the celery and stir those in there just like that. Don't you love this? Look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. This is Grandma G's chicken pot pie. Oh, wait a minute. Where's the chicken? Hmm. Oh, I planned it that way. I wanted to save it to the end. Not. Nah, I forgot the chicken. But I have it right over here. Oh, here's the chicken and... Uh, Here's my tonic. You know about my tonic, don't you? Well, we're going to do the chicken second. Right now, there's the bell. Excuse me. I'm back. Now it's time for the chicken. Let's go ahead and put it in. Here we go, folks. Just like so. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Stir around the gravy. Put it in. Go ahead and let it fire it up. I love it. Oh, okay. Now, what do you think is next? That's right. Time for a pee. I always enjoy a good pee. Of course, at this age. <laughs> Come on over. Put it in here for a little color. Go along with the carrots. I love that part. And guess what is next? That's right. You know about the two little secret ingredients that Granny G has. One of them of course, is the, is the uh, chicken gravy. One of them is a the chicken gravy, yes. I can't talk anymore. And then the other one, of course, is a little bit of bacon. Now, I'm not going to pour it in. I'm just going to go like this and just sprinkle it in. A little taste of bacon in there. That's it. And like I said to you before, you know, Granny loves her pork. Right, Mickey? <laughs> Whoops. Is that my outside voice? Anyway, let's go back and stir this in. Okay, well, it's time to roll out the dough, so we put the ingredients that we just made over there into the pie pan to make Grandma G's chicken pot pie. So what do we need? We need a rolling pin and dough. Rolling pin, dough. Rolling pin, Mickey! Yeah, <laughs> Mickey loves the rolling pin. You know, Mickey did a little time. He has a little bit of a checkered past, if you know what I mean. And, uh, well, we have movies, but that's another situation. <laughs> So right now, what we're going to go do is start to roll it out. Whoop! Baby Fiduch. Baby Fiduch there. Little Stormy River. Mm, he must be hungry. I, um, 
I think I know what to do here. When I was a baby, when we had to help him go to sleep, we used to have a little bit of our juice, and we would go ahead and we put a little bit of Granny's brandy in there. Yes, we would. And we're gonna go ahead and do just a little bit. Woo! Woo! A little bit too much. Wait a minute. Yeah. <coughs> it's good stuff. Then we go ahead and we'll put the top on like that. Mix it up a little bit. I bet you he's gonna like this, isn't he? <sighs> Here comes your special bottle. <coughs> oh. You little son of a... <laughs> okay, now that little Vajush is happy, because I know how he is, I get happy too when I have my little bottle. I mean tonic. I mean bottle. <laughs> now it's time to go ahead, and we're going to roll out the dough. Here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep the dough a-rolling. You know that Mickey... Mickey did a little time, like I said, he had a checkered pass, and he had went in there because he, well, he got a hold of the wrong kind of dough, green dough, and he didn't do it like he should have. But anyway, he's being a good boy today. I always think he's a good boy. All right, well, here's where we're going to go and put our chicken pot pie, and I oiled it in there, a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to go ahead and cut it up and then go ahead and line it, okay? That's what we'll do. Here we go. There's the first one right there. I love this. This is so much fun. We're going to go ahead and put it in here just like that. Can you see that okay? Can you see that? Ah, that's good. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let me start to line it. Ooh, this is so much fun. It's time. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. We'll go ahead and put it in there just like so. Ooh, my goodness, this is gonna be so delicioso. Boy, oh boy. I'm gonna get the favors I need from Mickey after he tries this one, pal. Let me tell you right now. Ooh, ha 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 ha. Oh, put it in there. Now, when you fill it up like this, don't fill it all the way to the top and you put the gravy in last like this as much as you can do last. Because what's going to happen is it's going to boil up, and it probably will boil over. Let's get another piece of chicken in there. Boop! I love that. That's good. And one more little thing like that. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Mm. Look how much we got left, by the way. Look at this. See? There is quite a bit. There's more for more pies. But we're only going to do one right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave it like that. And now it's time for the top. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to put the top in, Okay. Ooh, boy, that's kind of nice like that. And then we just go put it right on top. Look at that. And then we go ahead and fold it around just like so, just like these. And then what I like to do is I, once I got the top on like that, I like to get the knife and I like to just go ahead and, and cut it, cut it around. Look at how easy this is. This is so simple. Anybody can do this. There is a little bit to do with this pie, but that's okay. You're going to enjoy it. I'm going to tell you the favors you'll get after this. Woohoo! Okay, let me take a look at that. Look at that. And now we'll make it a little decorative. Go like this. I like to do that. Hmm. Look at that. Ooh. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I got good fingers. Ask Mickey. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of decorative on top. This is what I like to do. Watch this. We're going to cut it like so. Just go ahead and look at that juice coming out of here. What it does is it helps relieve some of the pressure, and it looks really pretty when it cooks. And then there's one more thing we're going to do after this. We're going to put an egg wash onto this, okay? So there's the slits I have right in the middle like that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. Huh? And now, last thing before the oven, egg wash. And here's the egg wash. You go ahead and get just one egg, and you go ahead and mix it up like you do a scrambled egg, and you just simply just go like this. Look at this. 
be healthy with it. Just go ahead and put it on. It's going to be beautiful. Now, the reason for the egg wash is to kind of give it a nice golden brown. Mmm, it looks yummy. It's got to be delectable. You know, Mickey says I'm delectable. <laughs> Mickey, I love you. Hey, let me think about this. Maybe I should use some egg wash on me. Ooh, eh, ooh, no. Anyway, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go put it in the oven at... 350 degrees, 345, no, 400 degrees. That's right, at about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And if you have a bigger one, a little bit longer. And if you have a bigger one, a little bit longer. Come on, let's go. Into the oven she goes, I can't wait for this. This looks beautiful. All right, here we go. Put it right in there. Woo, that should be about 40 minutes. Woo. TV magic, let's go see what's going on. Oh my goodness, look at that. Marvelous, it's marvelous. Look at that. Put it right down there, just like that. Ouch, it's a little hot. I'll close the oven. Look how gorgeous that looks, it's gorgeous. So now we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut it open. I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna be wonderful, I know. Ooh, let me look at this. Ooh, can you see inside there? Let me use this, maybe that will be better. Let me get inside there. Can you look inside there? Look how beautiful that looks. Ooh, look at the steam coming out of there. Ooh, my goodness. Ooh, that's Granny G's chicken pot pie. Ooh, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. Ha <laughs> ha, ooh, whoops. It's time for something, I think I hear a bell. That's right. It's time for a little Granny's Tonic. I always need a little bit, you know. Hmm, I'm out. Hey, ooh, let's go see if Stormy River Verduch is asleep. Hey, little youngster, what a cutie pie. You're not gonna miss this, are you? <laughs> Oh, why waste time? I mean, salute! Mm. <laughs> ah, yeah, baby! Anyway, from Vito's Italian Cucina, it's Granny G and Stormy River Fiduch. I sure hope you enjoyed the show today. Remember, Granny's Chicken Pot Pie, the Pot Pie. There it is right there. Anyway, you go ahead and look at that. I'm, I'm going to be a little busy. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>